My name is Joey Mantia and I'm an Olympic speed skater. I grew up in Florida and I was a rink rat and basically spent every waking moment at the skating rink. And that just kind of evolved into speed skating and then I became world champion and then I was on a pro contract, traveling around the world, racing, doing what I love to do. And eventually switched from inline skating to ice skating and qualified for the Olympics. And now I have a bronze medal at the Olympics. And that's the story of how a Florida boy became a speed skater. When I switched from inline skating to ice skating, I was already a multiple world champion. I was a world record holder on inlines. And when I came to the ice, I had this mentality that I will be able to do this. This isn't gonna to be too difficult. There'd been a lot of skaters that came before me that switched from inline to ice skating and they were successful. And so I thought if I just kept with the same work ethic that I would eventually get it. Unfortunately, learning a new sport essentially, even though the motor skills are very similar, there was a huge learning curve for me personally. And I had to basically back off and understand that it's not just about how hard you work and putting in time. It's about the recovery. It's about the mental focus. It's about all these different things that I never really had to think about when I was a kid. Coming up with inline skating from the time I was basically 16 to 25, I was basically invincible as an athlete. Didn't have to do all the extra stuff that I was finding myself having to do now, uh, just getting a little bit older and, and understanding recovery, nutrition, all these things. So I would say the biggest difference going from inline to ice and training for the Olympics in particular is that every little detail matters and nothing can be overlooked. What does recovery mean to me? Well, interestingly enough, if you would ask me that when I was 25, I would have said going home and playing Xbox, that's recovery. At 36, I have a whole plethora of things that I've learned over the years that I find very, very important uh, to not just older athletes, but to any age, if you wanna maximize your potential. And not just athletes, just people that wanna be fit in general. If you're going to the gym, if you're doing any type of cardio, there needs to be some kind of recovery routine that you have that helps your body adapt to the work you've just done. If you do all this work and you don't recover correctly, there's no point in doing the work. So if I could give three recovery tips, first one would be focus on your sleep. It's very, very important. Number two, focus on your post-workout nutrition. If you're doing any kind of cardio that's remotely hard, you need carbohydrates. A lot of people don't like to eat carbs after workouts, but it's very important to have good carb and protein ratio. And finally, mobility is probably, I should have put that number one, but we'll put it as number three, save the best for last. And make sure that you're actually getting nice and limber and rolling everything out. and taking advantage of uh, working out, give your body the opportunity to grow. I've been using Chirp for about five months now. My first roll on the 12 inch wheel was just, ah. Uh, I remember just arcing back on it and just relaxing and exhaling and I could just hear my spine go pop, 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 pop. <laughs> and I just remember thinking, oh, this is gonna be awesome. I can't wait to use this and incorporate this in my everyday routine. It's interesting because they're so simple. It's just this round plastic with foam on top with a little track in the middle. And I think that they're only gonna be able to be used for certain things. And then I always find myself, oh, I could do this with that, or I could do this. And I always find myself coming up with new exercises or new ways to use it. And that's really interesting for me because there's always an urge to learn from me. There's always an urge to, to figure out how I can recover better. And I think using little tools like Chirp definitely make a big difference. I'm the kind of guy who doesn't like a lot of massage or a lot of adjustments and being like, I don't like people touching my body. So if I can do it myself in my own garage and kind of gauge how hard I'm going and the intensity, then I really enjoy that. I like that a lot better. And so having something like the Chirp set, the 12, the 10, all the way down, it really gave me the ability to adjust that and to control it. And so for me, yeah, I, I think that from, from day one, I was just constantly looking for better ways to use the wheels and I think they've been very effective for me. Feel good, do more.